All right, YouTube land, it's uh, early Thursday morning. We're burning the midnight oil here, and uh, I was working on Brian, your two pill. I was actually setting the bias on this two pill, and I thought, well, hell, perfect time since, uh, uh, as I stated last week, we're trying, we're, we're not trying, we are setting the bar when it comes to uh, uh, amplifier bias and clean signal operations. So, um, setting the bias on this, decided to make a video. Now, to, we're going to go over a few things really quick. I hope you guys stick with me and uh, this will be maybe informative. Okay, because all transistors are different. 2879 Toshiba's bias different than H HG's. That's why a generic uh, bias, uh, passive bias, uh, simply just will not do if you're picky like I am. You want to, to hone these things in. So, what we got going on is, uh, uh, and I think I've pretty close to 100 milliamps so where we need to be for the uh for the idle yeah well, not quite there but uh anyway just to show you guys uh should have uh, honed it in got it set perfect before i made the vid but we'll do it after this what i want to show you guys this is a passive bus i've been working on of course you can't see it uh because i've got it covered up uh you know lots of hard work there been exercising my mind for the last 24 hours on this new bias that i wanted to try on this two pill for brian and uh so what i'm doing is just to show you we're in idle there's no and we're running it'll creep up there but probably if it settles in it'd settle in about 93 94 uh milliamps and i need to be a bit 100 so but we can fix that that's not a problem we'll definitely fix that uh yeah we'll definitely fix that that's not a deal so we've got this voltmeter right here to the base uh to the uh, base of the transistors on the input transformer uh here's the negative going to ground off that capacitor this little wire here is a clip that goes to the ground for my for my uh oscilloscope and then uh, y'all gotta excuse my bench it's it's nasty I mean, it's nasty. I've been blowing and going, and I ain't had a chance to get it uh, cleaned up. So that linear regulated supply uh, is one that I built years ago. Yes, I do offer uh, you guys that like uh, transformer linear, meaning regulated with past transistors and a transformer, uh, linear regulated supply. Uh, I do offer those for sale. They're quite pricey, and they're expensive to ship. Uh, that animal there is variable voltage 12 to 19 volts. So we're at 12.8 volts uh, You'll follow these leads down here to these clips the 8 gauge wire runs to the amp and that's what's supplying the amplifier. So yeah, Let me get that back on there and just so we'll show you As you can see we don't have anything there I'm going to touch the positive of this capacitor right here and you can see we're at 12.8 volts so um, you know, no smoke and mirrors. So anyway, um, with this design, to, so you guys understand, it's an active bias design, meaning it's a regulated. Underneath this uh, tape is some resistors and transistors. And uh, I'm not going to elaborate on the design because it's top secret at, the time, at this point in time. But 12.8 volts is irrelevant. That could be... Uh, 14 volts, 15 volts, 16 volts, it doesn't matter because we are regulated and uh, it's a regulated uh, bias. Uh, regulated as in voltage and current regulation. Uh, overload protection, all kinds of good stuff in there. Like I said, there's a few transistors and some resistors. So, uh, moving right along, I showed you we're at 100. Obviously, we've got voltage here because we've got current. So, we are biased. We're going to take this thing out of idle. We're going to bring the dead key up. I'm going to bring the dead key up to... And since we're out of idle, of course, no longer... Uh, we're not at idle anymore, so we're no longer at idle amperage. So uh, all that changes. So I'm going to lay this meter down because it's kind of irre irrelevant right now. We're showing you right there. We got, uh, we're got we set to a reference, which is about... 7,500 watt slug. We got a 500 watt slug. 10, uh, 10 is 100. The first hash right here is uh, 50. So uh, we're about a 70 watt deck here or so. And we're on 12.8 volts. So uh, 
we're trying to keep it uh, close to a four to one, which would be about 280 watts, you know, so we can run clean. One, two, because we want to run clean. Audio, I think we're, uh, uh, we're in average mode. Let's go to PEP. The uh, middle scale, the 30 is 300. Audio. So we're right at a four to one, running about 280, 290 watts at 13.8 volts. I showed you we still got uh, amperage. We're in the amperage setting. We're in the amperage setting, so obviously DC amperage, milliamps. Obviously uh, we've got voltage, so uh, no smoke and mirrors there. So now here is where it all gets interesting. 12.8 volts is where we're setting, but once you regulate stuff, that no longer matters. You want to hear this fan come up? We're going to take this baby up to, oh, there's 18 volts. How about we do that? 18 volts. Okay. Still got auto current, so obviously we're, I mean, not auto current, but current on the base, so we're obviously uh, biased here. And, uh, well, we're going to give that a whirl. So what we need to do is uh, raise our dead key up a little higher. There we go, 100 watt dead key. Hello, swinging almost 500 watts. Um, to show you all again, I can say, excuse my messy bench. We are biased. This is a biased, AB. We'll go to right there to show you. We're at 18 volts. And it doesn't matter where we go. We can take it back. You'll hear the fan drop down. Right there is, uh, we'll go to 14.8. Hello, one, two. And we're not affected. Hello, 375 watts or so at 14.7. Uh, so. This is on AM. It works the same on sideband. Uh, this box is auto uh, sideband like most of my amplifiers are. You can run it with a, a Kenwood or you can run it with uh, any, just about any uh, uh, radio that you choose, a sideband radio or AM. It's, it's good. It's biased clean. Uh, and uh, We'll demo this amp later on. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, but I uh, just wanted to kind of uh, show off this bias uh, that I'm working on so uh, you guys be safe be careful and be kind I've updated all you guys you know what's coming up you know if you're waiting on something it's in the works uh, we got marks uh, mark your five pill coming up really quick in the next day or two I've got David's uh, eight pill and six pill rebuild uh, slash bias uh, job uh, that video is coming up I got a couple of radio videos coming up so y'all stay tuned I've got a Cobra 29 XLR that's kicking ass and then I'll have another one that Max sent in but uh, uh, Mr. Leeson and that uh, that 29 XLR and we did the works to it and we're, we're waiting to get it finished and we'll have a video on it so we're going to get out of here y'all be safe be careful and be kind and we'll catch you next time I'm going